Mystic Meg was known for her iconic appearance over the years and most famously for fronting the National Lottery from 1994 and writing several horoscope columns. The astrologer recently died aged 80, it was confirmed by her representatives just hours after the national icon shared her last horoscope predictions with the nation. Speaking previously, the former journalist who became a household name thanks to her appearance and predictions opened up about how she maintained her looks. While some people opt for a strict gym regime and diet, Mystic Meg whose real name was Margaret Lake had a completely different way of looking after herself. Speaking to the Lancashire Telegraph, she explained, For the last 10 years, my weight has been 8 stone, I am glad my weight is in the normal, healthy range for my height. Like many people, I always intend to start going to the gym again. I try to stay with a vegan style of eating and try to avoid all animal products. I think about nutrition, I've noticed that when I visit vegetarian shops, none of the customers are overweight. The former newspaper sub-editor went on to explain that she refused to drink alcohol and smoke cigarettes while also opening up about her neurosis, a mental condition which is not caused by organic disease. I take a multivitamin, vitamin E, wild yam capsules and coenzyme Q10. I also take herbal drops, echinacea to boost the immune system and ginkgo biloba to protect the memory, she said. Over the years, the astrologer appeared on screens and in newspapers with her pale complexion and jet black bobbed haircut, a signature look which nobody else could pull off. Recalling his encounters with Mystic Meg, photographer David Porter described her looks and personality as otherworldly. Writing for the Detford Pudding blog, he said, she hardly ever spoke, and when she did it was in a strange whispered monotone. She had the whitest skin you'd ever seen, and seemed to glide silently around the office without touching the floor. Sharing the news of her tragic death, her agent Dave Shaplin said, In all the time I knew her there was never another man in her life. She gave the impression of being a recluse, living on her own with her crystal ball and seven cats for company, that was the reality. She was a very private person. Prior to her death, Meg lived alone in a flat in London's Notting Hill surrounded by seven cats. She previously claimed that the flat and her four-legged friends found her and she moved in, 